Hello everyone. Um, I've decided to talk a little bit today through the video, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I hope you are all doing well. Um, I, I am feeling so much better. I had a little bit of a cold and I think it's also just, you know, all the stuff going on around you, you just not always feel 100% happy, right? So, um, but I feel much better now. So I thought it's time to make another video. I hope you are well. Let me know how you're doing. And um, I hope you are healthy and that um, you're having a beautiful, beautiful day today. So first, before we start, we do a little bit of an energy clean, clearing off, cleaning out the cards. I read them so much because I love my cards. And sending a little bit of healing energy to you that's watching. A little to me. <laughs> so we're all happy and feeling good very positive. Okay. Put that away. So it can do its thing up there. And let's see, what shall we do today? I really like the sand um, as, a, as a grounding element because, you know, um, sand for me, it's like the earth, of course, I, I just really love it. And this is, um, I picked this up in Sweden, um, by the beach in Skorna. Um, and I really, it's a really special place for me. So, um, I use this one a lot. So we'll use this as our grounding element today. And... Take a few breaths. Okay. We ask the universe to send us guidance for this reading today and to open us up so that we can understand the messages that we receive and that our egos and our personalities stand aside so that we can see the true meaning of the messages that the cards give us today. Good, that's good. Okay, so which one shall we do? Where shall we start today? Um, usually, or almost always, my question that I ask is, what does the universe want me to know today? I don't go into too much detail um, unless I have something more specific that I want to know. If I, you know, want to know something, then I'll be more specific with my questions. But I like to do every morning just do general a general reading what does the universe want me to know today so we'll do this we'll do that today we asked what does the universe want us to know today so let's see what deck what deck i have so many favorites they're all my favorites <laughs> uh, okay i think i'm gonna do I'll start with this one. I'll do this one is the Sacred Rebels. I love this deck with the, the child, the mother, and the, the wise woman. Maiden Mother Crone. So it's the triple goddess. So first we will send some love to our cards. Give them some good energy and a little kiss. <laughs> and 
and then we shuffle and while we shuffle we ask our question what does the universe want us to know today Let's do it one more. This one. As you can see, if you've noticed my readings before, I don't cut the cards. I think all card readers have their own way of shuffling and what works for them and which how to pick a card. So for me, as I shuffle, I'll notice one maybe sticking out a bit. Sometimes one falls down or, um, you know, I just, I just, use my feeling um, as to which card I pick. So the next I think we'll use the Native Spirit deck. Beautiful deck with this eagle and the rainbow. Oh, it's so beautiful. Give it a little bit of love. We say to the cards, thank you for giving us such beautiful messages. And little kiss so what does the universe want us to know today oh i think i got one no let's let's, let's do this one native spirit and then there's this one the gateway oracle you see me use this one a lot as well because it just is such a positive deck and Sometimes, you know, when we going through times like at the moment, which is quite tough, I don't like reading the serious heavy decks because I feel for myself, I need, I want, you know, these decks are still honest and give you the, you know, the truth, <laughs> but it doesn't feel so heavy. Right, and right now heavy is not the what I need. So, so let's see. What does the universe, whoop, that was a quick one, want us to know today. So let's do these three and then maybe we, we can get another one. I'm, I'm really, mm, I think let's just get one of these as well. This is the, um, oh, I always forget this one's name. But um, trust your vibes, I think. Yeah, trust your vibes. It's what it's called, Oracle. So happy with a little hard flying. <laughs> so let's do a quick shuffle. Let's see what the universe wants us to know today. There we go. Got one. Okay. I'm going to move things a little bit. I always like to use this one as the guidance card. And I like to end with that one, the gateway. Okay, so we start with this. Restore and replenish. My goodness. Isn't that just a very valid message right now for us? So amazing, isn't it? Wow. I've been getting this card for the past few days every day, which is, this is a very, it's very interesting how these cards work because when you need to hear a message, you will hear it over and over again until you get it, right? So, um, yeah, this, this, this is just, I mean, it's self-explanatory and it just tells us that now is the time for us to just, just take it easy. You have nothing to do right now but to keep yourself safe, to be kind to yourself, not to judge yourself. If you have an extra piece of cake, if you have another chocolate, just, you know, have it. Have it. Because right now is not the time to beat yourself up. Right now is not the time to do these things. I have a really good friend that I've made online and I will link her below. Um, actually two good friends, <laughs> I, well, I have many friends, but that t talk about this kind of thing. And I'll link both of them below. One of them is called um, um, Muse. She has a, a site as the Muse, um, Jean-Marie. 
and the other one is um, Izet. So I will link them below because they talk about this a lot, how we need to just um, replenish, restore, take things easy, not beat ourselves up. So this card is definitely telling us to do that. The native spirit, ancestors, it feels to me that this card is telling us that there is something to look at, you know, look back. We need to look back at where we come from, um, the, the things that we've been, you know, in our history. Like, what is it that we can learn from the past? What is it that the, our mothers, grandmothers, grandfathers, aunties, uncles, all those people, maybe there's something there that they've done that, that can help us in today's and how we're going. And again, look at this, mentors and role models. And maybe that is what this means, this ancestors card means, right? Is that our ancestors can be our mentors and our role models. They, they are, they can, they don't have to be, you know, somebody, you can look up to somebody without them having to be um, with you right now, right? These people like, like my mom, for example, she was an amazing woman. She saw the world always like um, with wonder. And trust me, her life wasn't always that easy. But she always had this most amazing outlook on life of, of expectation, but in not big things, the little things, you know. And just the way she looked at the world was just beautiful. And that for me is such a, a, something that I will always take from my mother and I will always use that, you know. So there might be some, something in an ancestor that you have that, um, that can be a, 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 an example for you to maybe follow, right? And the last card... <clears throat> is cultivating prosperity. The abundance of the universe is pouring into my life. That's such a beautiful affirmation, right? And I think we don't always need to do a lot of things in order to be prosperous, yeah? Because prosperity isn't necessarily um, a lot of money or a big house or a fancy dress or, you know, that's not actually prosperity at all prosperity for me is when you are right inside your heart when you you are right in your soul when when you look at the world in a way that you feel comfortable with your place in it it doesn't matter where your place is it can be any anywhere but if you feel comfortable with where you are at then you are prosperous. It has nothing to do with money. It has nothing to do with status. Yeah. So, and I think the way we can cultivate prosperity, what this message is telling us is by restoring and replenishing, taking our time, taking time out, relax, trying to just be in the moment. Yes. And then Look at our ancestors. Is there a mother, father that might have passed or even further back? You know, and our ancestors isn't necessarily also somebody that is um, a blood ancestor. It can be somebody that, you know, you looked up to. Like, <clears throat> I really admire Nelson Mandela. And he is an ancestor in, in the way you can also look at ancestors, right? So, because he came before us and we are all linked as human beings. So you can use, you can do it that way if you can't, if there isn't somebody in that is a blood relative that you can think of. 
and use them as mentors and role models that you can look up to and try and become like. And by doing these things, you are cultivating prosperity. And once we start to do that, you know, our lives are just, it will just become more, it doesn't mean that there won't be problems. It doesn't mean that there won't be challenges in our lives. But what it does mean is that things will become more, um, we, we will accept things better. We will, um, we can become more able to handle the stresses and the traumas and the dramas that happen in our lives. And we can take a step back and see, wow, wait, I can get through this. I can get through this because I have done all these things. So, yes, that is the message for today. And um, I just want to thank the universe for the clarity and for this beautiful message of restoring and with the um, uplifting ending that there is going to be a prosperous time for us once this is over, once we get through this. So I want to just thank that. And um, yes, I wish you a beautiful day. Um, I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any feedback for me or if you agree or if you want to, you know, share something, please do. I would love to hear from you. And I wish you a wonderful day and <clears throat> stay safe. Thank you so much for listening. Bye for now.